welcome back to my channel i hope that you're all doing really well personally feeling very full in my heart i didn't post a video last week we normally have part-time help with nalia but we had family here and i just had so much quality time with nalia it was so nice we did so many activities we went to gymnastics we did art class it was her first time ever being in that kind of environment with like that kind of paint and she had so much fun it was like an arts and crafts class we also did a music class together and like i mentioned gymnastics she had so much fun and i had so much fun like when you have kids their happiness is your happiness like you really see the world through a different lens when you have kids and like the littlest of things can just make her so happy and that makes me so happy so yeah we just spent a lot of good time together and my heart just feels really full we haven't had this kind of break in a really long time but yeah there was very little time to focus on making a video sit down and film and edit and all the things but we're back okay so to kick off this vlog that i would share a few of my favorite outfits that i have been wearing this past week these are all like mom friendly comfy but still like cute and you know sort of put together and the weather is starting to warm up thankfully, especially in the afternoon. So I've been able to wear other things than just my big puffy black jacket. Starting with a good base of black leggings. These are so central. These are from Fabletics. I love these ones. I also have some from Amazon and Lululemon. So it just depends on the day, but they are so great. Just so versatile and just a great staple and then i've got these chunky new balance sneakers on with some scrunchy socks love these and this really great sweater this is from joa brown from a few years ago i'll see if they still have it if not i'll have something similar linked love that it's sort of oversized but you can fold it so that it kind of looks cropped i think that's a nice uh, contrast with the high-waisted leggings and then this vest is actually Moe's also like perfectly oversized and it's so comfy as well and then I do have a few different diaper bags that I really like this is one of my favorites it's not a diaper bag technically but it's really great because it's a big space big compartment and it opens up just perfectly at the top so it's really easy to just grab things find what you need and just sort of dresses up the outfit really nicely and it goes with so many different things so i love this bag another thing i find just really dresses up an outfit so easily is good jewelry all of the pieces that i'm wearing today are from monica vinader including the necklaces these bracelets you guys have seen these a lot i love these these i wear on a daily basis i love how easy they are to take on and off it's a rope sort of style so you just pull this and you can take it on and off very easily. These heart necklaces here are new. They're so, so pretty, so dainty. And then this one right here has diamonds on it. These are lab-grown diamonds. How beautiful is that? I also got the earring, this little huggy earring here. And then these are their power hoop earrings. I've been wearing these almost daily as well since I got them a few months ago. They are so comfortable, so lightweight, and so just high quality. Like the gold is super shiny. Again, everything is from Monica Vinader. They are one of my favorite jewelry brands. They're kindly working with me on this portion of the video, which means I have a code that you guys can use towards the entire site for 20% off i love this brand so much the quality is amazing the designs everything is made of 100 recycled sterling silver with 18 karat gold vermeil all with ethically sourced gemstones diamonds and pearls so you can feel really good about wearing their jewelry and all their packaging is also made from 100 recycled materials and everything is recyclable and they have this really cool repair and renew program to prolong the life of your pieces so that you can wear 
wear them more and buy less over time. I would highly recommend checking out all of their pieces. I actually have a page on their site where you can see all of my favorites in one place, which I love. You can use my code AnnieJMV20 for 20% off site-wide. I will have the code down below for you in the description box as well, along with the link to the site with all of my favorites. Okay, next outfit. I've been very into these pink leggings. They're like a raspberry pink. So fun for a little pop of color in this very like gray season that we're in right now. They're also, of course, very comfortable. Great for just running around, sitting on the floor with Nalia. And then this oversized sweater. This is from New Balance. This is actually Moe's as well. I've been very inspired by his closet lately. On the back, it says, elevate yourself and others. I love that message. And again, it's that perfect like oversized fit, very comfy. And I've been throwing this quilted jacket on top. This is also a nice neutral color. So I think it goes well with the sweater and this, again, the pop of color from the leggings and the shoes and socks are similar on the bottom. So you can really have fun with like a colorful legging with this kind of like neutral base and bottom. Okay, and then this is the third outfit that I've been wearing a lot lately. So more for like lunches or things that are a little bit more fancy, I would say, <laughs> where I'm not wearing, you know, leggings necessarily, but still very comfortable. I love this shirt. This is a long sleeve top from Skims. It's very, very comfortable and it fits beautifully on the body. And I'm obsessed with these sort of wide leg jeans at the moment. Very flattering and very, very comfortable. These are from mango and then this wool coat is from mango as well i think this really dresses up any look and then my go-to mom bag right now and some comfy sneakers these are from super Ga. and again if you guys want to check out these jewelry pieces i would highly recommend them they are so cute so comfortable the quality is amazing again i'll have everything linked for you down below in the description box along with my code as well which is again annie j and the 20 for 20 percent off site wide show you how I will build this uh, this beautiful little thing Nalia is already going wild so I will be building these two things this is a table and these are two chairs and hopefully it will have find a position here so then we need to reorganize all of that <laughs> here okay it's easy Nalia it's a very easy
got two chairs. So nice, Nalia. Circle. You make a circle. Okay, I've just rearranged and organized this area and it looks so cute. We have Nalia's new desk here and her two chairs. How cute is this? I moved the playmat to be in this way, so it was flipped before. So the long side was like this, but this way it all fits a lot better. Gave everything a good clean as well. I put the baskets over there and I think it looks so nice. And she really loves it. She got so excited about the desk. And also I've put up this alphabet poster here. I was looking for something like this for a while and I really like it. It's from Amazon. Nalia is like a sponge right now with new words, information. She already knows her colors for a while now and she can count to 10 so I thought let's just introduce this to her. So I just love to give her opportunities like this to learn, keep it part of her play area here and yeah, it's super cute. I do rotate her toys as well. I have mentioned that before so that this area here doesn't get too cluttered, that she actually enjoys playing with her toys. It's such a good thing to rotate. Yeah, it's just crazy to think how much evolution this space has gone through. We used to have just a baby gym, like a play gym for when she was a newborn. We had a plant over here. And then as she grows, this place just evolves. So it's crazy <laughs> but so fun to see her growing and see how her interests are evolving i'll have the desk and the stools linked as well as the alphabet poster the toy shelf bookshelf and also i'll try to link this play mat as well which is nice and soft for us to sit on and i like the neutral color too to clean these wooden surfaces, I forgot to mention this, these get color on them all the time. I just take a little olive oil on a paper towel and clean it off and it comes right out. It's amazing and works on pretty much all wooden surfaces, including our floors as well. Prepping dinner earlier in the day for me is such a game changer when it comes to actually making sure that we're eating healthy and home-cooked meals. One of my favorite things to make lately is this veggie-packed chili recipe. It's nutritious, warm, and just super satisfying. So first, I'm chopping up all my veg, celery, carrot, zucchini, onion, and garlic are of course also great for this. I just didn't have any today. Then just putting that on the stove for a few minutes, then transferring it all into a separate bowl. And then I'm adding in a little bit more ghee. This is what I've been cooking with lately. I really like it. And I'm adding in the ground beef. I'm letting that brown for a few minutes. And then adding in my spices and seasoning, starting with this chili seasoning. This is beef broth. Then adding in some turmeric cumin and salt and you can really customize these spices based on the flavor that you like giving it all a mix and letting it simmer for a couple minutes and then adding the veggies back in also adding in some crushed tomatoes corn and the chili is done it's so easy you can totally add in black beans or kidney beans as well mo is just not a huge fan of beans so i tend to leave those out but they definitely go so great with this kind of recipe Okay, here is our dinner. It smells so good. Got the meat with the vegetables, little chili seasoning, tomato, some rice, a little avocado, some salt on top. And then this is Nalia's plate. She's got the rice here, the meat, and then I put some yogurt on top. We will mix this and she loves eating rice with yogurt. And then of course the meat also has some nice vegetables in there. And then I always give her some fruit too. This is strawberry and some avocado for healthy fats. Gonna mix that all together. Give her a little spoon. Mmm. You like it? Mm-hmm. I'm about to style my bangs and I thought I would share with you guys how I've been doing it. It took me a while to really figure out a good technique and something that I felt suited my face. I first section off the hair before I blow dry the rest of my hair. And I'm now going to first wet it because it has dried a little bit since doing the rest of my hair. So this is just a little bit of water. 
getting the roots too. Then I take a little of the Wow Dream Coat. This is the Supernatural Spray. And I just spray this on the hair. This is a heat protectant, which I especially want to make sure that I use on these front portions since they are already short. I do also spray this on the rest of my hair before I blow dry the pieces as well. And it makes it a little bit more damp as well, which is what we want. And then I'm just going to separate this piece into two, just approximately like so. And then this piece I'm going to blow dry backwards. And then this piece I'm going to blow dry forwards. I've used a round brush before to do this with a regular hair dryer that works really well, but I also really love to use the Dyson because it's sort of like a two-in-one. And this is already what I use for the rest of my hair. So I make sure to have the barrel on that has the arrow pointing backward. Then I'm just going to turn the airflow down one notch. So that's not blowing too, too much. The heat I'm still going to keep the same. And then I finished it with a little cool air as well. And I'm just gonna let that like sit. And then for the front piece, I'm gonna take the barrel that has the arrow pointing inwards. So if you were doing it with the brush, you would first be pulling the brush this direction, so away. And then now with this piece, I would be taking the brush in this direction. this sit for as long as I can so I will get dressed, tidy up, do any little things and then I will style it properly. Okay then I will do a little brush behind the center part. I'm pretty happy with this. I think it looks quite good. Sometimes depending on the day, on how my hair is feeling, if it's just not laying right, I will go in a second time and I will just put the Dyson a little bit more like this and I will do piece by piece and not the whole thing at once. Usually it works like it did today, but just in case you guys need that extra bit of volume and that extra bit of just styling in the front, then just doing it piece by piece is also really good. And of course, you can also do it with the round brush as well. The same technique, just turning it inward. In the beginning, I was doing everything outwards because that's how I was doing like my longer front layers before I had bangs and it just wasn't working with the shorter ones. So I really like this technique. And as you can see, if you pull your hair back, they will just lay very pretty around the face and there's just something about doing like half of them back and the ones that are really close to your face forward you get that nice like volume in the front also in case you guys missed the video where we actually cut my curtain bangs i will have that video linked for you down below as well if you guys want to check that out so last week as i mentioned we had family here for a few days and our part-time babysitter wasn't here the entire week it really had me rethinking like the structure of my day how and when i was going to do my wellness routines my walks my two workouts a week that i go to the gym for meal prepping cooking dinner for my family grocery shopping and all of those things because a big chunk of that I normally do when I have help with Nalia for me they really need to be worked in and planned into my day I'm definitely not perfect with this I love taking care of myself I love doing nice things for myself but I need assistance with that like I need to help myself get there and when i'm in a good routine and i know you know the things that are to come like everything flows but when things change you know and our part-time nanny isn't there and just the time that i have is different i need to sort of go back to the drawing board and figure out and replan 
how I'm gonna do the things because ultimately I want to feel good I want to have energy I want to be in a positive state that is my why that is my motivation and my inspiration so I thought I would just share this little process this thing that I do maybe it will be helpful to you guys as well the first thing is really like I mentioned just knowing your why like why do you want to do these things that could be things like how do you want to feel how do you want to look who do you want to be as a person and then I think the biggest part of this is writing out your ideal day taking pen to paper or doing it on your computer write out from the morning time what time do you ideally want to be waking up how do you want to start your day writing down some things that you want to make sure you hit to start the day off on a really great foot really sit with yourself and envision your perfect ideal day day your ideal morning evening how many hours of sleep do you want to get and just write it all down like write little time stamps and of course with that write your time constraints too so you know if you are a student or if you're a mom or if you work if you commute so write those times down and then see the times where you have that flexibility where you can get those things in so for me recently that changed with not having our part-time nanny so important to do this so that you can see the times that you actually are able to dedicate to yourself and where you could fit in you know two things at once so if you have a commute at that time is a great time to listen to an audiobook or a podcast you can also work on your mental health at the same time for example something I look forward to every day is going on a walk normally I do my big walk when I have part-time help with Nalia because then I can really focus on that and I know that I can definitely get in like a 45 to an hour walk I will also go with Nalia but it's a hit or miss like sometimes she's really happy to sit in the stroller and sometimes she just wants to get out and look at you know the grass and the little sticks and the stones and pick everything up she's a toddler everything is new for her right now so I definitely want to honor that too so when I don't have help with Nelly and I really want to get a longer walk-in I will do it when she's napping in the stroller she loves it for me it's great and I know that I can definitely get in that walk another thing that I do which you guys saw a little bit of last night is I cook dinner early Early. This was so important for me, especially last week, because when I took her to those classes, they were all in the later afternoon. Not because they were an ideal time for me, but that's just like the time slots that were available. So what I did to just make things easier for me is I prepped dinner before we left. So that way when we came home, I just had to do a couple little things and dinner was pretty much ready to go. Like I didn't leave it for the last minute. Then you might say like, let's just go out or let's just order in. And of course cooking at home is so much healthier especially that Nalia is eating with us I love the cheats home-cooked food that is you know well balanced and has good ingredients so that's a huge priority for me but I have to work it into my day I can't just leave it for later and just hope that it happens the next thing is really working it into your calendar so having things that you know are just on repeat every week a big thing in my calendar are my two workouts a week they're the same time every week I know that they're coming Mo knows that they're coming depending on how many things you have going on in your day if you put things in your calendar and you block out that time it is so much more likely that you will actually fulfill that than if it was just an idea or you know something that you hope to do you could also schedule in your walks or when you have to go to the grocery store i think the more things you can pre-plan and put in your calendar the more successful you will be or if that's writing out a list for yourself of things that you want to make sure that you're getting done but really putting that intention and that planning into it and of course not making it overwhelming like for me if i put you know five days of workouts in my calendar there's no way that i would make that happen you have to work with yourself work with the time that you have work with whatever season of life that you're in for me also especially right now it's all about bringing it back to the basics so not over complicating things really living a healthy lifestyle and focusing on wellness it's not that complicated it's really quite simple you just have to get rid of the noise and the excess stuff focus on moving your body eating healthy sleeping well getting out into nature getting some sunlight and having good relationships positive energy around you again really knowing your why and just getting rid of 
the excess clutter and stuff both physically and mentally that can be interfering with that you know if you are really on the path of wanting to live healthy positive full of love and energy kind of life some of the biggest things that i think are the most helpful is definitely cooking at home you can make then lunch for the next day so always make a bigger portion you already have lunch or dinner for the next day having a good like five or six seven recipes that you know just how to make or things that are your sort of go-to i really don't think you need any more than that like just having some good staples of recipes that you can rotate and then keeping breakfast relatively simple that is a huge part of health and wellness i've been back to getting in my 10k steps per day and it makes me feel so great i love getting outside i love that little positive challenge for myself especially right now as well when the weather is not the warmest it's just nice to have that extra little push to get my steps in and then focusing on good sleep too like that is so huge for me not just thinking okay i want to wake up at 6 a.m but rather thinking let's get to bed at like 9 or 9 30 so that we can get like a full night of rest and still wake up early feel great yeah just having that little change up in my routine last week just really made me realize how important it is to write out your day write out your times that you are available to do certain things kind of going back to the drawing board a little bit and restructuring my day and just putting those things into my calendar so I can make sure that I'm still taking care of myself, feeling good, it's very demanding being a mom. I also work full time and have other responsibilities so it's really important for me that I'm also filling up my cup so that you can really set yourself up for success. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll make sure to have all of the things that I mentioned linked for you down below in the description box. The outfits, my jewelry, these are all again from Monica Vinader. I love them. Them. I'm wearing this textured chain today. So pretty and the heart necklace and that snake chain that I showed you earlier and then the power hoop earrings are so so good. Recipes, anything else that I mentioned will be linked for you down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!